Muaro Jambi Indonesian, Kandi Muaro Jambi is a Buddhist temple complex, in Muaro Jambi Regency, Jambi Province, Sumatra, Indonesia. It is situated 26 km east from the city of Jambi. The temple complex was built by the Malayu Kingdom, with its surviving temples and other archaeological remains estimated to date from the 11th to 13th century CE. The archaeological site includes eight excavated temple sanctuaries and covers about 12 square kilometers, stretches 7.5 kilometers along the Batang Hari River. Eighty manapos or mounds of temple ruins are not yet restored. It is one of the largest and best preserved ancient temple complexes in Southeast Asia. It was suggested that Muaro Jambi Temple Compound might be the initial location of Srivijaya Kingdom. This is mainly because, Muaro Jambi has far richer temple concentration in contrast to the scarcity of archaeological sites in South Sumatera. History The start of the rise of the Kingdom of Malayu can be dated to 1025 when India's Chola Kingdom attacked and destroyed the capital of the Sumatran Maritime Empire of Srivijaya. This allowed a number of smaller Sumatran polities to expand their political and economic influence. During the 12th and 13th centuries it seems that from its river estuarine basis along the Batang Hari, Malayu became the dominant economic power in Sumatra. The substantial archaeological remains at Muaro Jambi suggest that this may have been the site of the Malayu capital. The city's age of glory came to an end in 1278 when Java's Singhasari kingdom attacked the city, even succeeding in capturing members of the royal family. The site was rediscovered by Dutch explorers in the 19th century. It is now protected as a national monument. Topic: <laughs> Design and decoration. The temple complex of Kandi Muaro Jambi is spread out over a large area along the banks of the Batang Hari River. Eight temple complexes have been excavated but many more mounds and sites remain to be explored within the conservation area, much of which is still covered by thick jungle. The three most significant intact temples are known as Kandi Tinggi, Kandi Ketatan and Kandi Gumpung. The temples are built from red brick and unlike the temples of Java, feature very little ornamentation, carving or statuary. A few pieces of sculpture are housed in a small, on-site museum. The wooden dwellings that are believed to have housed the city's population have all disappeared without a trace. Only seven temples have been restored, three have mentioned above and the others are Kandi Tinggi I, Kandi Kembarbatu, Kandi Gedong I and Kandi Gedong II. Topic. See also Kandi of Indonesia